revealed, the gifts received by the royal family in 2017, including a flag for Tim Peake for the Queen, lavish jewels for Charles and Camilla from the Sultan of Brunei and an apron for Meghan's first gift. The lavish, sentimental and bizarre gifts showered upon the royal family in 2017 have been revealed in an official list published today. It details the rugby ball received by the Duchess of Cambridge during her trip to Paris, a hamper of local produce given to Prince Charles and Camilla at the Vatican, and a picture received by Prince Harry, of himself. The Duke of Cambridge was also gifted an apron to pass on to his brother and his soon-to-be sister-in-law, Meghan Markle, as well as miniature chef outfits for Prince George and Princess Charlotte. The young royals were also seen being handed a selection of gifts during their trip to Germany last July. Meanwhile, gifts for the Queen included an engraved whiskey glass, an array of brooches, and plenty of silk scarves. Her Majesty also received glitter balls for the royal Christmas tree, a purple fleece dog bed and the Union flag from Major Tim Peake's space suit, while the Duke of Edinburgh was given a travel Batman set. Charles and Camilla were also lavish with jewels from the Sultan of Brunei last November. Accepting these gifts is bound to raise eyebrows after Brunei became the first East Asian country to adopt Sharia law despite international criticism. Sharia punishments include severing of limbs for theft and death by stoning for adulterers. The tiny state on the island of Borneo is ruled by Sultan Hassan al and relies on oil and gas exports for its prosperity. The extensive list of gifts received by the Queen annually released records of official presents received by the royal family in 2017 showed that the monarch was also given an ostrich egg decorated with Shai beadwork as a 91st birthday present from the Kenyan president. British astronaut Major Peak, who became the first Briton to form part of the crew of the International Space Station, handed over his own historic gift at Windsor Castle. He gave the Queen the flag from his spacesuit when he stayed with the monarch for eight time and sleep gathering at her Berkshire residence last April. In November, the Queen was presented with two sets of glitter balls for her Christmas tree by the German president Frank Walter Steinmeier. GCHQ also opted for an early Christmas theme when the monarch opened the National Cyber Security Center in London last February, with the British security agency giving the Queen the Christmas decoration containing Enigma machine paper. The dog-loving head of state, who now has one corgi and two dorgies, received a purple fleece dog bed and soft toy after a visit to the K9 Partners National Training Center in November. She was also given a silver-plated filigree pumpkin during an audience with the Cambodian ambassador. Gifts fit for a young prince and princess. Prince George and Princess Charlotte received armfuls of gifts on their overseas tour to Poland and Germany in July, receiving 59 presents between them. This included 17 soft toys, two lollipops, three toy trains, the toy pram, three dresses, two pairs of socks and a dream catcher. Kate and Will's gifts from around the world. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge also received a variety of gifts on the high-profile trip including 19 books, three pairs of earrings for Kate, and three pairs of cufflinks for William. There were two handbags for the Duchess and replica cavalry saber for the Duke from the President of Poland Andrzej Duda. During her solo visit to Luxembourg, Kate received a pamkuch by a member of the public, a traditional European cake with a hole in the middle that is served on important occasions. When William and Kate visited Paris the outgoing president from Holland gave the couple some decorative hearts, a vase for William and a ceramic rose sculpture for Kate. The rules of gifting a member of the royal family. Official gifts can be worn and used, but are not considered the royal's personal property. The royals do not pay tax on them. They can eat any food they are given and perishable official gifts with a value less than £150 can also be given to charity or staff. Gifts cannot be sold or exchanged and eventually become part of the royal collection, which is held in trust by the Queen for her successors and the nation. The rules on official presents were tightened following the Peace Inquiry in 2003 into the sale of royal gifts and the running of St. James's Palace.